Good morning. Our opening song is number 398, Lead Me, Guide Me. Lead me, guide me along the way. For if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Lead me, O Lord, lead me. I am weak and I need thy strength and power to help me over my weakest hour. Help me through the darkness thy face to see. Lead me, O Lord, lead me. Lead me, guide me along the way. For if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Lead me, O Lord, lead me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we gather in the name of the Lord, let us call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. An angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord. I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east. For the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then he walked, had me walk off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand. He measured off a thousand cubits. He had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured another thousand. Once more he had me wade through the water, which was now knee-deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and made me wade through the water that was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand, but now a river which I could not wade, for the water had risen so high it had become a river and it could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this son of man? Then he brought me to the banks of the river where he had me sit. All along the bank of the river I saw many trees on both sides. And he said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arab, and it empties into the sea. The salt water, which it makes fresh, wherever the river flows, 
every sort of living creatures can live and multiply. There shall be an abundance of fish, for wherever this water comes to the sea, it shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord, the Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, and an ever present in distress. Therefore, we shall not fear, though the earth be shaken and the mountains plunge into the deep depths of the sea. Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose rivulets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it break. At, it will help it at the break of dawn. The, the Lord, Lord of hosts, hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things that he has wrought on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? 
The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Once again in today's scripture, we hear about water and its gift of life and healing. In today's reading from Ezekiel, the prophet sees water flowing from beneath the threshold of the temple. I'm not sure about you, but if I saw water trickling or flowing from the threshold of my home, my front door, I would be in panic mode. The next thing I would try to do is find the source of the water as I'm scurrying around, and as soon as I found it, hopefully I'd find it, I would try to stop it immediately. This water that flowed from the temple was built on a hill, and so the, the water flowed down the hill to the Jordan River Valley and eventually into the Dead Sea and its salt water. But as Ezekiel follows the flow, it's getting deeper and deeper. First ankle depth, then knee depth, waist depth, and finally he can't walk through it anymore. He needs to be a swimmer. As it reaches the barren land down towards the Dead Sea, it produces life. Fruit trees of all kinds, fish in the water, and living creatures along its banks. This water that began at the house of God has gained power, life, and sustains life to those who are in God's presence. It is water flowing from God that makes us aware of his life-giving power. So how deep will we go with God? The Holy Spirit is willing to take us deeper and deeper as he guides us safely so that from our heart flows goodness and kindness. Under the new covenant, we are the temple of God because he dwells in us and his spirit flows from us. In today's gospel, we continue to hear of the water's healing quality. The water in the pool was stirred up by God's angels. And scripture has it that the first one into the pool after the water was stirred up would be healed. But the man we hear about today, the poor man who's been ill for some 38 years, because of his ailment and because of his being disabled, was not able to get down to the pool quick enough after the water was stirred up. And he certainly was not able to get into the pool. So someone would take those healing powers before he could get it. Jesus recognized this. And so he said to him, do you want to be healed? And he said, take your mat and go. We are reminded during Lent of our baptism with these stories today. The hope is as we journey closer to Easter, the power from our own baptism grows stronger and stronger and gains strength and enthusiasm. As we progress through our Lenten season, may we all take this time to reflect on our relationship with God and feel his power flow through us.
Desiring to truly be one with the Lord, we now offer the burdens of our lives, asking for his mercy. That our church leaders' words and examples lead us through these final weeks of Lent, concentrating on our prayer life and almsgiving, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders work toward a just distribution of resources, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we all recognize the healing power of water and that we are reminded of our own baptism when we were given new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of Jane Sheehan and Gil Vandenbush, who passed away this past week, that through their baptism into death with Christ, they will rise again to life with him, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the COVID-19 vaccination program be efficiently administered and that it produce effective results in treating and eliminating the virus and any variants, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of today's Mass, for Marvin and Myrtle Retmeester, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special intentions we hold, deep in our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you know our needs and you provide grace remedies. Come to hear our prayers and the prayers of all your people so that we truly may walk your pathway to the kingdom. We ask our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. Amen. 
we offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator for this mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time, the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect. Especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis our Pope, and David our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, 
and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and former divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roofs, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Sorry, I forgot to say Lamb of God.
Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come through Christ our Lord. May we pray for our seminarian, Matt Colley, and for vocations to priesthood, religious life, diaconate, and holy marriage from Prince of Peace Parish. We pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray the prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find, find healing and seek to be holy. May our Father help us. <laughs> us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As, as foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our bishop and our priests. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the church. With Mary, who raised Jesus, the high priest, who know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray for us. We pray the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Number 398. Lead me, guide me along the way. For if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Lead me, O Lord, lead me. Help me tread in the paths of righteousness. Be my aid and Satan and sin oppress. I am putting all my trust in thee. Lead me, O Lord, lead me. Lead me, guide me along the way. For if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Lead me, O Lord, lead me.